Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a, another Big Change uh, Lunch and Learn. Uh, we are a couple of minutes early, uh, so welcome to those who have joined us early. The chat is open. Uh, last time we had someone who had dialed in from Canada, I believe it was. Um, we asked people to type into the chat where they were dialing in from. Uh, this week, um, as I look out the window, it's rather sunny in Manchester and my thoughts are turning to summer holidays. Uh, if you'd like to drop into the chat where you are going on your summer holiday this year, um, that would be fantastic just to get us going. Let's see if anyone is going anywhere exotic. Uh, hi, Keelan, welcome. Uh, hi, Tanya. Uh, we will give it a few moments before we get going. Uh, welcome, Kyle. Welcome, Leanne. John, you're off to the Greek islands. Very nice. Have you been to Greek be uh, Greece before? Fantastic. Oh, so you'll know your way around then. Is anyone going anywhere more exotic than Greece? It looks like John is the only one who's going on holiday. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Alistair. Um, I, I'm sure it's beautiful. I can pronounce Cornwall. Cornwall is beautiful. I've never... Uh, I, Cornwall, I went ages ago, actually. I, I need to go back down, down south for a holiday. Jen, nowhere. We, you, we need to fix that. You, you need to book a holiday somewhere, even if it's a long weekend somewhere away. You need to get get, get somewhere nice. OK, uh, it is now 12.30. You can continue to use the chat to let us know where you are going for your summer holidays. Uh, but we are going to turn our, uh, turn our attention, I should say, to our lunch and learn topic today, which is on speedy shortcuts. Uh, I must admit there is a typo on that poster. I'm not going to show you three time saving features. I'm going to double that and show you six time saving features. So uh, these are six speedy shortcuts you will want to start using today. Uh, there is very little background uh, that you need to do on these. They are incredibly simple to use. Uh, five for the office users and the uh, I think it's the fourth or fifth one um, of which our tablet users can get involved with. Uh, my name is Jonathan Isaacs. I am product marketing manager here at Big Change. Um, I have done a couple of these webinars with you now, and this is the second one. If you're not a customer of Big Change, you are very welcome to stay around. Uh, you may well uh, want to reach out to us afterwards uh, and sign up to the world's best job management platform that does all of those things on screen. Hopefully your team's window will look something like this. The chat is open. Uh, ask Q&As are open. You can uh, give us a thumbs up, a love, a react. Uh, a clap. I don't know what the other two things are. Um, the raise hand. Uh, don't press that. It's not going to do anything. Um, do's and don'ts with the chat. Don't put anything in the chat that you don't want people to see. So no mother's maiden names, no passwords, uh, no date of births um, or anything like that. We have had our first question. Um, depending on, on whether we have time, we will answer these either live. Um, we are short of time, so if we don't manage to answer them today, uh, we will reach out to you via your CS rep. Uh, and at the end, assuming I remember, uh, there will be an online survey. The first question was, is this webinar being recorded? Um, and the answer is yes, it is. Uh, you will be able to access this by going to youtube.com forward slash big change uh, or by scanning the QR code. Um, after today's webinar and it will be there for you to watch back. Uh, we might have some Teams troubles. Uh, we didn't have any last week, but uh, keep our fingers crossed for that. So first shortcut on the way, and that is our favourite views. Uh, this was released a good few years ago um, and it's absolutely fantastic. It allows you to save views and filters 
that you use on a regular basis, not just personally, but also across the company. So rather than filling in all of those boxes uh, time and time again, you can save those as presets. Um, on screen, we have a jobs list view that I've applied some filters for. You could see that I've added job status. I've added some dates. Um, and uh, at the bottom of this, there is a little gold star that says save current view as favorites. Uh, that appears pretty much on every uh, list that we've got going. When you press that, you will be presented with a dialog box that looks almost identical to this, depending on where you are. Uh, you are asked to give it a name. You can choose the visibility. That can either be just for me to make it a personal favorite view, or you can apply it for everybody in the company. Um, and as if by magic, um, I am going to share this with everybody. This is a view of unconfirmed jobs this week. And so we've added some calculations to it because we've got some date ranges. We want that filter to automatically show us the full week. So the from is today's current date, and that is Monday. And it's going all the way up to uh, the current week's Monday plus six days. So we get the full week. And that way, regardless of what day or whenever you use this filter, uh, those dates will automatically be updated. Uh, if you save that and you open it again, um, sorry, ignore that. If, if you notice the top uh, left hand corner, you will see a little link icon. Now, clicking on that gives you a URL similar to the one which is shown on screen. Now, that is really clever. If you save that URL in your bookmarks, when you uh, click on that bookmark, just like you would do if you were to open up any other web page, it will take you directly to this view. You do not need to type in bigchange.com. You do not need to navigate to the schedule. You do not then need to select, select the list view. You do not then need to put in all of those filters. With a single button press, you can access that favorite view, saving you a huge amount of time. Now, if you want to access the favorite views, um, you can do. Uh, those are by the little gold star in the top right hand corner. Um, and you can click on that and uh, you will be able to see the list of favorite views. The ones that are in bold are the ones that are global and the ones that are not in bold are your personal favorite views. Uh, we have had a question that comes in. Is the favorite view restricted depending on how authorizations are set up in roles and web users? They are indeed. So if you set up a global favorite view and that is to view an area of the system or to view resources or jobs which that person does not have access to see, they will still be able to access the favorite view, but when they initial, initialize it, they won't be able to see those items. So just to confirm, the favorite view does not bypass any of the, any of the roles or restrictions that you may have set up. Now, I mentioned earlier um, that some of the favorite views uh, setup does look slightly different. Uh, and the one that does look slightly different is around the notes, because notes can have a creator and they can have an owner. When you set up a global view, you can determine whether that owner or creator defaults to the logged in web user. So again, you can create a fantastic global view that automatically shows the logged in user what notes are due today. One favorite view that can be applied across the entire company, saving a huge amount of time rather than opening multiple tabs with multiple different filters in within a matter of clicks, you can save your favorite views. Personal tip, I like to include some emoji in the name of the favorite view. Um, it just makes them that much easier to find um, and uh, it makes the system look a bit more colorful as well. So that is time saving feature number one. Time saving feature number two uh, is almost as time saving as the other one. Uh, recent items, very simple, one single graphic to show you on this. As you navigate around the system and as you close down jobs, notes, contacts, financial documents, uh, you may well decide that you want to quickly go back to the item that you have closed. Uh, by clicking on the recent items icon, which is a little uh, arrow in a circle, uh, you will be able to see, I think it's the five most recent items that you have interacted with. Click on one of those and it will open up inside the frame so you can make any changes you may have forgotten. Really simple, really quick to get back to where you were if you happen to close something by mistake. 
job type colors. Now, this is an absolute game changer. Um, I look at people who use the system and uh, I wonder uh, why some of them are not using this feature. It's absolutely amazing. So I have in front of me a schedule and I instantly want to be able to see which are the installation jobs and which are the service jobs. And a lot of people think there isn't a way of doing that. Uh, you might want to be able to see which jobs can be moved, which jobs cannot be moved, um, and you might want to categorize them based on various other things. Well, you can do that. If you head over to the job type settings, so you do need to be an administrator for this. In this case, I have job type settings for a bathroom installations. You will see on screen, hopefully, if I move it around here, a little color option right next to it. If you click on that, you have a plethora of colors to choose from. Uh, not quite every color under the rainbow, but you have a plethora of co uh, colors to choose from. In this case, I'm going to select a lovely shade of yellow and uh, I will have changed the colors on other job types as well. Now, if I head back to the schedule, it looks like nothing has changed. And you'd be right because we need to make some other changes. If we look under the display, you will see we have job color and it will be set either to status as it is in this case. We all know that you can add flags to jobs. And again, you could change that to the color of the flag, but you have the third option, which is job type. If you select that, you will see that uh, I now have a range of colors on screen. The only gray box in the middle at the top is because I haven't set a color for that job type. So now I can see the installation jobs are yellow and the service jobs are pink. And yes, we can save that to favorite views. Getting you back to this view incredibly quickly. So now you can see exactly which jobs of which types are taking place on a single day just by looking at the colors. Shortcut number four is one uh, for the save signature. Uh, and this is for our tablet users. So. In the past, uh, or even now, if you haven't set this feature up, you will probably be asking your resources lots of different questions. These could be the uh, worksheet question types of signature. It could be asking them to sign a vehicle check or signing a timesheet or signing off expenses um, and various other things. Now, some of them entering their signature time and time again uh, may well be uh, time consuming and the signature may well get progressively less legible as the day goes on. Well, we can save that. Uh, if we go to the uh, settings section in the mobile application uh, and if we go to the miscellaneous section, you will see halfway down the page there is a signature box. We can ask the resources engineers, drivers uh, to spend some time and put their signature in this box uh, and then they can press save. When they press save, they get a green box confirming that action. And now when they go back to sign a worksheet question, timesheet, vehicle check, there will be a button under the uh, signature box that says save a uh, used save signature. Press that and their name and signature are inserted, saving a huge amount of time. Uh, next one, uh, penultimate one, copying a link to an item. I absolutely love this. Um, pretty much every item you open, I'm talking jobs, notes, financial documents, no, but uh, knowledge base articles, favorite views, contact stock, and so much more have this little link icon in the top left of them. That behaves pretty much as uh, the uh, favorite view that we saw before. Clicking on it, you get a little message that says copy link to clipboard. That will save the link to the clipboard. So if you imagine a scenario, you are talking to a colleague on Teams about this job and you want them to take a look at something. Well, we now have uh, this on screen. Uh, I'm speaking to Harry and I'm talking about a job and I want him to take a look at it. So I include a link in the Teams message that pops up on Harry's screen and he can click on that and he is opened up. The, uh, the job is opened right on his computer. It's as easy as that. Yes, you can share with him the job reference. Yes, you can copy and paste that into the search box. Yes, he can press enter and yes, he can open it up but this is much, much quicker. Again, uh, this works with all of the entities that you might expect.
final shortcut of the day that you might want to use. And this, again, is for our administrators and it's user events and restore. Uh, sometimes you want to see what people have been doing in your big change system. Uh, and other times you might want to correct a small mistake that has taken place. Uh, we are now going to be heading into the user events under account section. And here we can uh, display a date range and we can filter based on the various activity that we want on screen. There is also an export button on screen. So if you want to export this uh, and do any anal analysis, I can never say that word, analysis um, or save it, uh, you can do so. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on a particular item that John, uh, not John that's flying off to Greece, uh, but John uh, made last week. Uh, it's a contact. Uh, we can select that contact and we have two options. We have the option of viewing the contact and we have the option of viewing the changes. So if I click on the view changes button, uh, we can see that these are the changes that have been made. Again, if we click on the little eye icon next to the contact, it opens up the contact. Uh, next, we're going to restore a contact that John might have deleted by mistake. Again, we can restore other items that have been deleted, but we're just going to use the example of a contact. So we're going to go over to the contact, which is the first one on screen, and we have the ability of hitting restore. Uh, we can confirm the action very simply, uh, and then uh, the contact is restored with the confirmation prompts. So that is it. Uh, we have had six uh, speedy shortcuts on the screen. Favorite views, recent items, job type colors, save signature, copy link item and user events. Uh, if you liked these, uh, you will love the two times 13 saving tips that we did. I believe it was last year. So we did part one um, QR code on screen and then we did part two. Uh, which we did on screen. Don't worry if you didn't manage to scan those QR codes, head over to our YouTube channel. They are on there. Uh, I am now going to launch a very quick survey with three very quick questions on. If you have 30 seconds of your time, it would mean the world to me and the rest of people at Big Change for you to answer these three very quick questions. How valuable did you find this webinar? How likely are you to use these features? And what words would you use to describe the webinar? Before you go, I have some things to tell you about things that are coming up and features that are also in the process of being released. So whilst you're filling that in, keep your ears open or half an eye on screen. We have just done uh, the alerts uh, and speedy shortcuts. So the next topic which we are going to be talking about uh, next week is the map. And the three other topics, the dates are still a bit in flux, but the three other topics have yet to be determined. Uh, do let us know in the chat uh, what topics you would like to see. Uh, they do need to be relatively short topics. So uh, we did get stock last time. That's quite a big topic. So we probably need to be a bit more specific on that. Uh, if you want to register, you can scan the QR code on screen uh, and notifications will be going out for the map later today or tomorrow, I think it is. One of the events that we did was our Innovate webinar. Uh, that was in April. We launched Big Change Fleet, which was the way in which companies can save up to 15% savings on their vehicles. We also announced Big Change AI. Um, if you want to play catch up, you can do so on screen. Um, we have just announced that Innovate uh, Q2 is going to be taking place on the 10th of July at 11 o'clock. That is going to be where we showcase all of our functionality that we have released in quarter two. We got some amazing feedback on this. It was a great way of condensing all of those release notes that pop up that you might not have time to see into a single webinar. So do sign up to that. The uh, link will be on screen um, and uh, we will also put some of that in the newsletter. In the last webinar, uh, I also showed people this slide on screen and it was blurred. Um, people were guessing what it was. Um, they also, uh, one of them got it spot on. 
Uh, we have started the rollout for 240601, so I can announce that we have indeed launched our very own fuel card in partnership with the Right Fuel Card Company. This is absolutely amazing. Notifications will be sent out on screen uh, when your system has been updated for this. Absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, fuel cards bring huge benefits to businesses of all size or uh, all sizes. Last but not least, uh, our customer growth event. If anyone attended our customer growth event, which uh, in June, it was the 4th and 5th of June. You can't attend that because it's 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 happened. If you did attend it, please let us know in the chat. If you didn't attend it and would like to attend the next one, which is the 2nd and 3rd of July, uh, there are only a few tickets remaining. So if you would like to attend an exceptional and invaluable event, which uh, provides information and new efficiencies, just like Alistair did, um, refining strategies and allowing them to uh, provide the best possible service to your customers, do email louise.stone at bigchange.com and she will sort you out a ticket. But they are going very quick. Uh, well done, Alistair. Well done, James. I'm sure you enjoyed yourself. Did you get a hoodie? Because I think some people are wanting a hoodie. Um, and uh, Alistair, you saw you should have waved at me or she, you should have said hello. If you want a hoodie, you have to attend a big change growth event. So whoever asks for a hoodie, uh, email Louise and come to our event. Finally, newsletter. If you want to catch up on all of the things which I have mentioned today, you can find our newsletter at bigchange.com forward slash big community forward slash May 2024. That is it. And I'm out of breath. Um, I did see some questions come in. Um, lovely and cozy, just in time for the summer that we're about to have. Uh, I will have a chat with Lou and see if we can do any summer attire. Um, but uh, yes, if you want a hoodie, they are available to uh, people who attend our growth events. I will have a look through the Q&A's this afternoon. And if we did get any Q&A's, I will uh, reach out to your customer success managers and allow you to uh, get the answers that way. Jen, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a summer. Um, I, I have read things that say we are going to get 50 days worth of rain. Um, I have read things that we are going to be absolutely roasting. Um, I tell you, if we are going to get summer, I should be working from the office where there's lovely air conditioning. So um, I am going to sign off. Uh, thank you very much for joining today's Lunch and Learn. I hope you have learned, so learned something. Uh, Alistair, if you see us again, do give us a wave. If you do come to the um, uh, if you do come to the uh, growth events and you do see me say hello it would be lovely to meet you uh alistair i just asked if you could share the url in making uh, can you share the url instead of making the favorite view global so very quickly the the link to item you can share but you have to make a favorite view global if you are to share the link so if you share the link with other people the favorite view has to be global if you just save the favorite view link in your own bookmarks, it doesn't need to be global for that because you're the only one who's accessing it um, and that will work. I am going to have to go because I've run out of breath and I need to get a glass of water. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we will be covering the map next week. So until next week, uh, hope you have an awesome day and uh, I will speak to you soon. Thank you.